so I might as well start recording now. This is part one of the dry run of um, Starship Titanic. I've decided to record this because, well, just because, really. Um, so I'm just booting up the game now. Um, I wanted to do this. I wanted to do a dry run of this game anyway, just to test whether or not, well, just to test how long the stream is likely to take. So, let's start. I'm going to try and give as much commentary for this as I can. Um, Uh, just partially just thinking of things to say on the stream really so this is going to be a dry run um, I am playing this with the strategy guide to ha I say to hand I had to really reach over to get it there but yeah I'm going to be playing this with the strategy guide to hand put it there Um start so here we go we start in um, my lovely house it's funny my phone's been my phone's on do not disturb at the minute so you won't be hearing my phone go off but it's been dead totally dead now for about half an hour. Two minutes into me recording, so all of a sudden it starts blowing up. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> Always the way, isn't it? So, I'm going to go click over here on this TV. This isn't really part of the game, but. For heaven's sake, get on with it! Oh, go on, don't just sit there. All right, Douglas. For heaven's sake, get on with it! Oh, go on, don't just sit there. Didn't mean to click that twice. Ah, well. All right. So, it's quite a nice house, really, isn't it? So, for the sake of this, I'm just going to skip and put the <laughs> right disc in. So I'm going to try not talking through... I'm going to say cutscenes, but you know what I'm saying. So I'm not distracted by it. Anyway. So this is Fintable, as you'll find out in a sec. Tidy as you go. Tidy as you go. Ah, well that's good. Oh, yes. I know the feeling, pal. My name is Fintable. I am the doorbot serving on this the maiden voyage of the Starship Titanic, the ship that cannot possibly uh, go wrong. Now, as you can see, the ship this... So to sit habitually flying to houses, then. We've had a little accident. Don't worry, no harm done. Just a little scratch to the paintwork, I think. Luckily, your house was quite soft. I realise this is a bit of an imposition, but we need you urgently. Will you help? Hello? Guess so. Will you help? Hello? Oh, silly me. Oh, strange, deluded, benighted me. You'll need your personal electronic thing. We call it a pet. What, you mean one of these? 
rather complicated, but I'm sure it's a mobile you'll phone. It All you need to do now is type in yes, meaning that you will help, and we can get going. That's yes, Y E S. Canberra. An odd way to spell it, but that will do fine. Yeah, you won't regret it. Well, maybe you will, but let's get you on board anyway. Anything else you want to say or ask, just type. Not now, not now. We've got to get you on board. Can't type anyway. Oh, look. A nice picture of the sky above your house. How nice. You should take that with you, you know. Good. Now, good. The I'll way just grab it. Saves time. The last time you'll ever see that particular view. Come on. Well, that fills me full of uh, confidence. Right. So this is where it goes uh, back to the pre-rendered bit. It's our maiden voyage, you see, but the ship has, well, it's Bloody lost cat. its mind, and so has oh my crew, including me. <laughs> Though I do have my lucid moments. I only wish I knew if this was one of them. Oh, look, things are going from bad to worse. I can't even find the buttons now. Can you help me? <laughs> Top button. Terribly sorry, it's my cell point settings, you see. Well, I don't suppose you do see, but it is my cell point settings anyway. All right, well, I'm just quickly going to close that door. That little bit out. I have to lower my chair as well because normally I have, the, I have my chair up here, but given um, where I've put the happy towel day thing. There we go. Right. Top button. Human being, isn't it? Yes, well, of course, one's heard mixed reports. I just hope that you can sort out these problems, because none of us can. We're all robots, you see, and what's happened is that the ship's central intelligence has been lobotomized, sabotaged, if you ask me, and it's left us all unable to function properly. And you may find that we're all a little doolally. I know that oh. I am. So it's all going to be up to you. As soon as we reach the embarkation lobby, press the button on the plinth, and we'll be on our way. Then go and see Marcinta. She's the desk bot, and a bit of a drag up when her setting goes wrong. She'll check you in. All I've managed to secure for you is a super galactic traveler class book, but I'm sure you manage. You can always ask Marcinta for an upgrade, but be ready to duck. <laughs> You'll meet Craig the bellbot, who should take you to your room if he's functioning properly. Then once you've settled in and made yourself comfortable, you'll be able to get on with working out what's gone wrong and fixing it. Oh, that's good. Embarkation lobby. Well. Ah, here we are. I think we're about to take off again, but I'm sure that nobody's in control. I'd better go down again to secure things, but I'll be back a bit later to help you if I can. I hope you understood most of that for all our six. Good luck now. Good luck. Don't forget to press the button. Okay. Use of the succubus in the dark is not recommended. <clears throat> Terrible accident. Terrible accidents happen occur. Happen occur? Happen to occur when you use a succubus. Succubus in the dark. These aren't the doors you're looking for. Move along. Please do not ring this bell again. Once more. Not yet! Not yet! Guess we're getting nothing from there. So. Welcome to the Starship Titanic. Ple press? Please press the button for opening credits. Why am I reacting like I've never seen this before?
Why is there a uh, propeller plane in space? And again, I don't suppose that that does look like space, does it? It's, this is probably in the upper atmosphere. So here we go, this is the Starship Titanic. Voiced by opinionated Scotsman. Evidently. Alright. Let's try and go. Please check in at the reception desk. Okay. A few missing frames of animation there, I've just noticed. Welcome, guest number uh, one to the most glamorous galactic cruise ship experience in the whole of the space-time continuum, the Starship Titanic, the ship that cannot possibly go wrong. Ha! My name's Drubish. Marcinta Drubish. I am the desk bot. Do you have a reservation? I believe so. Do you have a reservation? Yes. <laughs> I very much doubt it. Name? I do have one. It's Mank Pete. Yes. Wrong. But I see that Fentable thinks we should take you on board anyway. Soft-hearted fool. I don't see that you're going to be of any help. As far as I'm concerned, you're just a freeloader. Oh, ah, well, lovely. Better get you checked in. What sort of breakfast would you like in the morning? Continental or the full porky? Uh, let's go for the full porky. Huh, good choice. Newspaper? The Barontan Bugle? The Trumpet? Saxophone? Kazoo? <sighs> the Bugle. I do miss listening to that, but it's not been the same since John Oliver left. Okay. How do you like your room? With a view? Sure. Why not? Come on, only you know, yes or no. What's the view of? Okay. Corner or balcony? outright ignore my question, but um, let's go with balcony. Hmm, good choice. Bed. Imperial? Royal? Presidential? Despotic? If you ask some people, there's no real difference between the latter two, is there? But... Uh... Let's go for royal. I am British off the wall. King size? Queen size? Prince? Princess? Princess plus? <laughs> it's just me, so I guess just king size will do. Constitutional or absolute? What? I'm asking the questions. Constitutional or absolute? Uh... Absolute. Hmm, it's easier choice. to spell. Fish? What about them? Come on, only you know. Yes or no. Fish? Fish. Come on, only you know. Yes or no. Fish? 
Uh, yes, then. Thought so. Separate or en suite? En suite fish? On. Um, no! Separate. I can never spell. In fact, I spelt it wrong there, haven't I? Oh! Have ever done that before? Welcome, guest number uh, one, to the most glamorous galactic cruise ship experience have to in sit through this again. the space-time continuum: the Starship Titanic, the ship that cannot possibly go wrong. Ha! My name's Drubish, Marcinta Drubish. I am the desk bot. Do you have a reservation? Yes, we've been through this before, you silly thing. I very much doubt it. Name? Wrong. But I see that Fentable thinks we should take you on board anyway. Soft-hearted fool. I don't see that you're going to be of any help. As far as I'm concerned, you're just a freeloader. Ah, well. Better get you checked in. What sort of breakfast would you like in the morning? Continental or the full porky? Huh, good choice. Newspaper? The Barontan Bugle? The no. Trumpet? None Saxophone? of these. None Busy? of these answers matter, by the way. Okay. Yeah, the bugle. How do you like your room? With a view? Yes. Okay. Corner or balcony? Balcony. Good choice. Bed? Imperial? Royal? King size? Queen size? King size? Queen size? Prince? Princess? Princess plus? King size? Queen size? Prince? Oh. Princess? Princess plus? Oh, but Constitutional or absolute? Hmm, good choice. Uh, Fish? No. No, thank you. Come on, only you know. Yes or good? Well, no. you certainly won't like the room you've got then. You've been assigned to Super Galactic Travel Finally. Class Elevator 1, Floor 33, Room 15. And don't come whining to me for upgrades, because you won't get one. On the bell. Craig! Bet. Bellbot, to the embarkation lobby. Hi, I'm Craig. I'm your bellbot today. Hey, I see you're not carrying any luggage. That's great. I can take a little time off right away. And I see your super galactic traveler class. So I guess you can find your own way to your room. The door's over there. The Service here is incredible. Someplace. Relax, stay cool, enjoy. Right. Let's see. Floor 33, elevator 1, room 15. Regret to announce that the ship is hurtling out of control through hyperspace. Any passengers with insurance queries, please refer that, to your ticket. That, that was fucking lucky getting the right lift first time. It's floor 33, wasn't it? All right. Good day to you, sir, madam, all thing, and a great deal better than some of the days we've been having recently. Indeed, my old trouble has quite cleared up, so that it will be a pleasure to attend to your vertical transportation requirements. What's your name, then? Nobby. Ah. Hello, Morning, Nobby. or whatever. Sup? <laughs> I don't suppose you were ever a military man, military woman thing? Nah, silly of me. Let's keep it simple. I goes up, I goes down. Which is it to be? Floor 33, please. Nobby? A wise choice, sir. Vertical transportation is what I do best, uh, given the circumstances under which I'm supposed to operate. It's not what I'm used to, though. Do, 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 do. 
Here is your floor, sir. Expect a lot of this traveling up and down in these lifts, by the way, because this game's full of it. Right, so what was the room number? Floor, um, room 15. Right. So that's room one. Room two. By my reckoning. Right, so that's room five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's going to be the absolute top of this one, isn't it? Yeah! Congratulations! You may have already won an upgrade. Please turn to channel 3 for details. Right. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Uh... That thing. Personal. That yeah, it's the sink, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, aqueous cleanse. No, that. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Deploy major horizontally mobile storage compartment. <laughs> Obviously, when I do the actual stream, I'll be talking more about this game and explaining more. Um, deploy fully recumbent relaxation device. Inflate fully recumbent. Right. There we go. Where's the remote? Ah. Right. So that's channel one. Nothing worth watching. Much like BBC what? No, uh the weather. Traveler, this could be your luck, luck, lucky day. Yes, you may already have won an upgrade to second class and a whole new world of luxury. You may collect your complimentary in flight magazine from the succubus in your SGT lobby. If the coupon on page two has lucky number 35279 on it, then you are just one step away from a travel experience most bipeds can only dream about. Take the magazine to the embarkation lobby, and our helpful desk staff will delight in upgrading you. Okay. So, let's carry on. Bing, bing, bong. We regret to announce that tonight's dining experience by Starlight with the captain has been cancelled. This, this thing never changes. It'd be much better if. Alright, first class, floor seven, elevator to room three. That's kept for later. We'll need that. So, for the sake of this, I'm going to call these. I'm going to clear all of these before the stream. Yep. So we've got that. 
So now we leave our super galactic traveller classroom and that's the last time we go in there. That's what I'm going to do with these with these recordings. I'm going to go for roughly around half an hour each time. Have I? Give it. Thank you. Not sure I want to touch that, but... Okay. Let's go get this upgrade. Well, actually, let's have a quick chat with Craig. Well, howdy doody. Or not. Nope, still not working. What a pain. Have another go, would you? Well, la di da. Aren't we one of the movers and shakers? <laughs> Fine. Morning, sir. I was just thinking about the first time you come into my lift, Nobby. I thought at the time, here's someone in your lift. Because one thing the army does, it trains you to notice things. Top of the well. All right. So we're coming up to half an hour now. So what I'll do, I will get this upgrade, make a save, and I will end this recording. Take a quick break. Come back. Do another Top one. Well, do another sir. From half here you hour. can walk to your requested destination. There is a reason why I'm doing this. It saves file size. On upload later. Shit. I've got the wrong way, haven't I? Yep. Okay. All right, here we go. Toss this moody bitch. Yes, you can ring my bell any time. Oh, cheeky. Haven't got time for that. Busy, busy, busy. Any problems with your room, bring them to me and I'll ignore them as soon as I can. Anything else? Did you get the lucky number? Show me your magazine. Oh, I do wish they wouldn't do this. It's very bad for passengers. Yes, I did. Oh, very well. Let me see. I've assigned you to a second-class stateroom, room one, floor 21, which you will reach by elevator three. Don't get drunk in the bar. Don't annoy the musicians. Don't fiddle with the pellerator. Don't touch the artwork. And if you go up to the promenade deck, don't scuff the woodwork. There you are. And it's better than you deserve. I should really call that dry run, shouldn't I? Okay. Goodbye. That is quite enough of that. Thank you. Fish. 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 I think I broke her. Anyway, yeah. I'm going to take a quick break. And... Come back to this in a bit. <laughs> 